hello students welcome to my youtube channel this is third video on liquid mixtures and the last video also if you have not watched my previous videos on liquid mixtures please watch it in this video we shall discuss about critical solution temperature types of partially miscible liquid mixtures phenol water system triethylamine water system nicotine water system experimental determination of cst of phenol water system effect of impurity on miscibility temperature of phenol water system first let us start with what is critical solution temperature it is the temperature at which the two liquids which are otherwise partially miscible at ordinary temperature become completely miscible there are three types of partially miscible liquid systems they are type 1 system with an upper critical solution temperature example for this type is phenol water system type 2 system with a lower critical solution temperature example for this type is triethyl amine water system type 3 system with an upper as well as a lower critical solution temperature nicotine water system falls to this type let us discuss each type one by one type 1 system with an upper critical solution temperature we can take the example of phenol water system if phenol and water are mixed two layers are produced one of a solution of phenol in water and the other of a solution of water in phenol if the system is warmed the amount of water in phenol layer increases as well as the amount of phenol in water ultimately at a particular temperature the composition of both the layers becomes the same and the two become completely miscible such temperatures are considered as critical solution temperatures and it varies with composition that means for 10% of phenol with 90% of water has different critical solution temperature compared to 90% of phenol with 10% water experiments have shown that the phenol water system has an upper critical solution temperature of 66 degrees celsius at which the composition is 34% of phenol by weight this means that above 66 degree celsius phenol and water are completely miscible in all proportions let us understand this in detail with the help of the graph on y axis miscibility temperature in terms of degree celsius is taken and it is plotted against composition of phenol water system in terms of percentage by weight of phenol as we can observe a parabolic curve is obtained and the highest point on this curve is 66 degree celsius which indicates 34% of phenol by weight we can observe that above 66 degree celsius there exists only one layer in phenol water system that means phenol and water become completely miscible above 66 degree celsius and within that parabolic curve we can observe two layers indicating different phenol and water layers within that curve type 2 system with a lower critical solution temperature we can take the example of triethyl amine and water system in this system it is observed that the mutual solubility of the two liquids increases with decrease of temperature it is very important to note this in this case the mutual solubility increases with decrease of temperature 
Thus, on cooling such a system, ultimately a stage is reached when the two liquids become completely miscible. That is, critical solution temperatures will be attained. The lower critical solution temperature is 18.5 degrees Celsius for triethylamine water system. This means that below 18.5 degrees Celsius, triethyl amine and water are completely miscible in all proportions. The curve obtained by plotting the temperature against the composition is just an inverted form of type 1 and is as shown in the figure. Now let us try to understand this in detail. When miscibility temperature is plotted against composition of triethyl amine water system in terms of percentage by weight of triethyl amine, a curve as shown is obtained and we can note that the minimum temperature on this curve is 18.5 degree Celsius which is indicating lower critical solution temperature and above this curve there are two layers which means triethylamine water layers are different and below 18.5 degree Celsius there exists only one layer indicating that triethylamine and water become completely miscible. Now let us discuss about type 3 system with an upper as well as a lower critical solution temperature. Example for this type is nicotine water system. In this type, the mutual solubility of the two liquids increases with increase of temperature as well as with decrease of temperature. It is very important to note this point again. Here, the solubility or the miscibility increases with increase of temperature as well as with decrease of temperature. Thus, in such systems, the two liquids become completely miscible above a particular temperature as well as below a particular temperature. Such systems have an upper critical solution temperature as well as a lower critical solution temperature which are 208 degree Celsius and 60.8 degree Celsius respectively for nicotine water system. The plot obtained between temperature and composition in such cases is a closed curve as shown in the figure. For temperature and composition corresponding to any point within the closed curve there are two layers while outside it there is only one layer. Let us understand this with the help of the graph. When miscibility temperature of nicotine water system with composition in terms of percentage by weight of nicotine is plotted, we get a closed curve. Within the closed curve, there are two layers which means nicotine and water system are not completely miscible, they exist as different layers. Outside the closed curve, there is only one layer. As we can observe, above 208 degree Celsius also there is one layer, below 60.8 degree Celsius also there is one layer, which means they become completely miscible. And as we can note from the graph, there is an upper critical solution temperature indicated at 208 degree Celsius and a lower critical solution temperature indicated at 60.8 degree Celsius. Next is experimental determination of CST of phenol water system. When phenol is shaken with water, a definite amount of phenol dissolves in water and definite amount of water dissolves in phenol and two liquid solutions form conjugate layers. The compositions of these two layers 
quite independent of the quantities of the two liquids mixed depend upon the temperature of the system. A variation in the proportions of the components merely causes the relative quantities of the two layers to change. One of these layers is a saturated solution of phenol in water and the other that of water in phenol. Thus, at each temperature, there will be two solubilities, one for phenol in water and the other for water in phenol. The mutual solubilities of the two liquids increases with temperature and at above characteristic temperature, they become completely miscible. This temperature is called critical solution temperature or consolute temperature. These things we have already discussed. In order to determine the mutual solubility curve of the system, solutions of phenol water of different suitable compositions are prepared. We usually prepare 10%, 20%, 30 up to 100% considering the percentage of phenol. Each liquid mixture is heated slowly and a temperature is recorded at which the two layers just disappear. That is turbidity just disappears. The temperature is once more determined at the appearance of turbidity when the system is cooled. The mean of the two temperatures gives the miscibility temperature of the two liquids in that proportion. Then miscibility temperature is plotted against the compositions of the solutions in percentage. The smooth curve will be parabolic in shape, the maximum of which gives the upper critical solution temperature of phenol water system. This is a graph of miscibility temperature versus composition of phenol water system. Temperature that is miscibility temperature is taken on y axis and it is plotted against composition of phenol water system in terms of percentage by weight of phenol. For different compositions of the system, the miscibility temperature is measured and is plotted as shown in the graph. When these points are joined, we get a parabolic curve with the highest temperature or the maximum point indicating 66 degrees Celsius as upper critical solution temperature. Above 66 degrees Celsius, there exists only one layer that is phenol and water become completely miscible. Within that curve, two layers exist indicating partial miscibility of phenol and water at those temperatures. Next let us discuss effect of impurity on miscibility temperature of phenol water system. The presence of an impurity in partially miscible liquid pairs affects the miscibility temperature of the system. If the impurity is soluble in one of the two liquids, the miscibility temperature is raised and if it is soluble in both the liquids, the miscibility temperature is lowered. Let us discuss by taking the example of phenol water system only. For example, 1% NaCl being soluble in only water increases the miscibility temperature of phenol water system. And 1% succinic acid which is soluble in both water and phenol lowers the miscibility temperature of phenol water system. Thanks for watching.